In this video, I'll show you how to calculate decibels gained or lost. The question reads, a transmission line has a loss of negative 3.25 decibels. Find the power transmitted, the output, for a power input of 2750 kilowatts. Use the following logarithmic formula to solve for P subscript 2. To be successful at this question, you'll need to know the following formula. So let's start off by writing out everything that has been given. We are told that G, which represents the decibels gained or lost, is equal to negative 3.25 decibels. So G is equal to negative 3.25 dB. Furthermore, we are told the input, which will be represented as P1, of 2,750 kilowatts. Our job is to find out P2. I'll substitute these values into the formula where I get negative 3.25 is equal to 10 times log of base 10. And I won't write base 10 because it's not necessary. P2 is what we're looking for. And P1 is 2750. This dB just represents the units of G. To isolate for P2, the first thing that I'll do is divide both sides by this 10. And by dividing both sides by 10, the 10 on the right side will cancel out. Here's what I mean. So dividing the right side by 10, I have to do the same thing to the left side. This cancels out. And we're left with negative 3.25 over 10 on the left side. And on the right side, we have log P2 over 2750. Now, to isolate for P2, and since this log has a base 10, I can raise both sides of the equation as powers to the base 10. For instance, this will become the exponent of the base 10, and this will become the exponent of the base 10. The reason why I'm doing this is because this log and this 10 will go away. So we can cancel that out, where we're left with 10 to the power of negative 3.25 over 10 is equal to P2 over 2750. This part I can evaluate on my calculator, and then after that I can multiply both sides by 2750, giving me the answer for P2. So on our calculator, we'll take 2750, multiply to 10 to the power of negative 3.25 over 10, gives us 1,301 decimal 16. 1,301 decimal 16 is our P2. To keep in mind significant figures, our question had two numbers. This one had three significant figures, and this one also had three significant figures. Therefore, our final answer should also have three significant figures. We know we have to get rid of these three numbers, where we have 1,000, 300. But the problem with that is that this number has two significant figures, 1 and 2. Therefore, we need to show this in scientific notation where we have 1 decimal 30 times 10 to the power of 3. And the units need to be in kilowatts. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate decibels gained or lost.